In this video, we're going to review programming of the SAK60 MS, but these instructions will also apply to the SAK100 MS. Though a very different piece of equipment, it does use the same controls. The SAK60 MS is a peak shed device intended to shed loads that exceed the load calculation of a service or panel in accordance with NEC 2023 Article 220. 70. It comes standard with 250 amp 5 volt CTs, but 100 and 500 amp CTs are available upon request. The ampacity of the CTs is stamped directly on the CTs and should be verified before programming. The CT conductors are polarity sensitive and the installer must ensure that polarity is observed when connecting the CTs to the SAC60 relay black to negative, red to positive. The CTs go around the panel feeder cables and are directional. The arrow on the inside of the CT should be pointing in the direction of the current flow. You press the mode button to scroll from one screen to the next and the up and down buttons to adjust the values. The first setting, CF, is the CT full current range. That's the maximum ampacity that the CT is capable of reading. It is not the maximum panel ampacity. We ship these standard with 250 amp CTs, so CF should be set to 250. HC is the high current set point, or the panel ampacity at which it will drop out the load. I'm assuming a 200 amp panel, and I've set HC to 80% of that, or 160 amps. OD is the off delay. This is the period of time that the panel will have to be at the high current set point before it sheds the load. Another way of saying that it will, is it will ignore the reading for this period of time, which is three seconds to allow for motor starting. So set OD to 003. LC is the low current set point, though your instructions might say load control. And this is the ampacity at which the load will be restored. I've assumed a 35 amp load. 160 minus 35 is 125. But you should give yourself some cushion, so we will set the LC to 120. The load delay is how long the panel will have to be at the low current set point before it closes the relay to restore the load. 10 seconds is the default and you can just leave it there. CU is the DC operating voltage of the CTs. We ship these with five volt CTs, so 0, 0.5.0 .0 is the default setting and you can leave it there. You should confirm the CT amperage and voltage by looking at the CT itself, where you'll find that information stamped. That's it. Those are all the settings that need adjustment. The other three settings you don't adjust. Just leave the SAK60 alone for seven seconds. It will save those changes and reload with the new values. So, when your panel reaches 160 amps, it will open to shed the load. When the panel reaches 120 amps for 10 seconds, it will close to restore the load. Here I have the SAK60 MS connected to a CT simulator to demonstrate its operation. I have the high current set point set at 160 amps and the low current set point set at 115 amps. So as you can see, as the load climbs, once it passes 160 amps for three seconds, then it will open to shed the load. Thusly. And then when the current finally drops below 115 amps, then it will close to restore the load. And that's it. That's how it works.